diagnosis of a brain tumor can be a scary proposition for a patient, but um, it can mean anything from a benign small growth to a more aggressive malignant tumor. And these tumors that are called brain tumors can arise within the brain substance or just outside the brain uh, and compress the brain or push on the brain to cause uh, deficits if they grow larger. Although uh, brain tumor sounds ominous, if it's small, it might be fully cured with surg surgical resection or focused radiation, whereas a more malignant or aggressive tumor might need many types of therapy and may not be cured. The most common types of brain tumors actually, if you divide it between primary and malignant tumors, in the primary category there are things called meningiomas, pituitary tumors, schwannomas, which um, generally are very treatable and can be controlled, either removed and completely cured or controlled with radiation, but are unlikely uh, to uh, kill a patient. Um, in the malignant tumor category, in fact, the most common group are metastases or brain metastases that spread from cancer elsewhere in the body and go to the brain and then we may have to do surgery or they may be completely treated with radiation alone depending on the size and how many there are in the brain. Other uh, types of tumors, the most common primary type of brain tumor are called gliomas uh, which can be relatively slow growing and low grade, but also can be higher grade and malignant uh, and be very difficult to treat. I think it's uh, very important to have uh, an experience of many cases uh, under your belt because uh, a lot of these patients, the tumors are in very sensitive locations against uh, nerves and parts of the brain that if they're damaged can lead to significant disability. So, over many cases, uh, one gets a better feel uh, for how safe a resection is going to be and how far you can push the limits of that resection without hurting the patient. And although we would like to cure people and get all the tumor out, not at the expense of a significant neurologic deficit or disability. So it's incredibly important to maintain safety and experience helps you do that. Over uh, 25 plus years of doing brain tumor surgery and thousands of brain tumor procedures, uh, I've certainly gotten a much better feel over the years of how far I can push the resection uh, with uh, and maintain a safety margin for patients. So I think it is critical. Hi, I'm Dr. Doug Lasky. My mission at Jefferson is to improve lives.